This is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. We are here at the Sands Expo of CES 2018 with a very cool company called Sense Glove. And I have the CEO, Reis, here. And they brought with us a demo for of their Sense Glove. It's a haptic response glove uh, that you can use in VR or for training and, and other purposes. And I'll let Reis roll through uh, a few, like what the purpose is and what the Sense Glove is. Yeah, so basically SenseGlove enables touch in virtual reality that does it with force feedback, so you actually are restricted when you're trying to grasp an object. And with haptic feedback, so you get like a little tactile sensation when you're, for example, touching uh, hard or, or uh, slippery objects. You can also feel those kind of sensations. And so we use it mainly currently for uh, B2B training purposes, so you have to think of uh, training work as an assembly line. It's really expensive to hold an assembly line just for training purposes. But in VR, you can build it as real as possible. And with our sense glove, it, well, the interaction with the virtual objects are just if you're touching a normal object, almost. <laughs> so I had the opportunity to demo the unit. And one of the, the cool things about it is you can see every single one of your fingers in the VR environment. And you, as you move in and pick up a cup, or a keyboard that's a part of their demo, you can actually feel the haptic feedback and the pressure that you would feel of picking up an item uh, and actually having to hold it in your hand and then setting it down and releasing it, which is so one of the things that's been lacking in all the controllers from Oculus to HTC Vive. Uh, and one of the things that you guys could be bringing to the table in the future, as again, right now, it's very much kind of a, a prototype for the most Definitely part. It is. Yeah, it is a prototype, so we're busy for one half year. We did some iterations on the prototype, so this is like the 12th prototype that we built. And uh, we are now really working towards a first uh, development kit that will be out in June. And you can also order it already Friday for our website. Um, but really, these are the prototyping stages. Everything is 3D printed now. Uh, and in the, first in the first DK1, as we call it, everything is um, also manufactured via like normal manufacturing methods. And so from a consumer standpoint, this is technology that's really still in its nascency, but likely something that we could be seeing probably in 2019 before there's a really, a, a, like a really solid consumer version of something like this that would integrate with your existing VR setup, either HTC Vive, Oculus, or PlayStation VR. Yeah, so def that, that's definitely our goal. Uh, but first, uh, well, to get going as a company, we need to have these B2B use cases. And we're working also on a design that the, that the glove is kind of bulky now, so we're kind of having ideas on how to make it smaller and how to make it also more consumer friendly in the end. Definitely. Well, that's great. Again, this is Gis. He's from Sense Glove. Uh, you can check them out. It's at senseglove.com. Yeah, just senseglove.com. Great. Easy. Yep. Senseglove.com. And again, I'm Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. We're here at CES all week. Stay tuned for more coverage.